Hi guys, Big Monday here, and today I'm doing a quick StarMade uh, tutorial. I want to show you guys a binary counter clock and how you can use this to do multi step signaling processes and set up some really elaborate um, blinky light sequences or activation sequences. So, first off, we'll go quickly through quickly go through everything we've got here. Um, we've just got a basic pulser here. Uh, when it's activated it'll pulse, when it's deactivated it'll stop pulsing, simple enough. Um, I've, got a, I've got two timer blocks here so it's a one second between each activate and deactivate. Oh, cat, get out of the way. <laughs> okay, so and here's here's the next bit is our binary counter. Now you see these these flip flops. They are going to store our information. So each one of them is going to store a bit of information for us. Now, if you if you know how computers work, that'll make a lot of sense to you. If not, if you don't understand binary, uh, counting up these numbers is going to be uh, a little bit awkward for you. So if you don't understand binary, like Google it, go and look how binary works and this is going to make this a lot easier to understand for you and then come back and watch this video. So basically each each column we uh, we add here doubles the amount of numbers in our system. So the, doubles the number of options. So we've got 2, 4, 8, 16. So we've got 16 different places. This is going to show numbers 0 to 15. That's important that 0 is our first place, so it's not 1 to 16, it's 0 to 15 for 16 places. Okay, and to build this it's it's relatively simple. Uh, the lights are only here to make it glow and look pretty. Uh, the uh, So what we do is we have our first knock gate uh, which then feeds into an AND at the back of every every column and it feeds into the NOT gate directly in front of it. Uh, then all the AND gates will feed into the NOT gate directly in front of those and each of these NOT gates will feed into the flip-flop in front of it. Uh, so that's straightforward enough. Now, uh, each flip-flop will then feed into every AND gate at the back of the column to the right of it. So the first one will feed into all three because all three of those columns are to the right. The second one will feed into the next two. Uh, the third one will only feed into the last one. Now you can extend this as far as you like using the same principle. You can put another column in. Just make sure that the first NOT gate uh, powers every AND block at the back and every flip-flop is, is attached to every AND that is right of it and then it should work out fine. So what this is going to do, every second it's going to our, our, our pulse is going to send a pulse here and then the clock is going to count up one every second. So uh, and what it's going to do is the lights will sit on and the lights will effectively be our bytes uh, so our, our bits and show us uh, show us what number in binary we're we're showing now. Every all the stuff I've got here, uh, these are just pulses, uh, and what they're to do is instead of having a solid light, we're going to have a blinking light when it's on. Uh, it's just to show different ways you can set this up to make different uh, different lighting arrangements. So when we've got uh, the first bit lit up, so that's a 1, this one will flash. When we've got the second bit lit up to be a 2, this one will flash. When we've got the first and the second lit up, which will be a 3, both these will flash. So we can set up either solid lights that go on and off in sequence, or we can set lights that's, that begin blinking and end blinking in sequence. So just let me start this start this off and I'll just sort of count through the clock so those of you that aren't really fantastically familiar with binary can 
sort of watch the numbers. So I'll start that going. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. So that's all, all sixteen positions including the off position. Now I'm going to stop this on a random number. I'm going to stop it on uh, leave it a little way through. One that's got more than one block. That one. Okay, so uh, this is a five. So as you can see we've got this block representing a four, this block represents a one, they add up to a five. So we've got so this number is five and these ones are, are blinking nice and happily away. So it shows the same number but just in, a, in blinking lights. Now so there's a 16 steps in this process and we want to pick different numbers to spread out different blinking light systems uh, so how do we do that okay so to be able to make a number each column is going to need a not gate in front of it and your flip-flop will need attaching to the not gate and then what we do uh, we work out what numbers we want uh, so I'm going to say, so I, w I want a 5 in this case and for a 5 this one is active and this one is active so what we do is we link both of these to an AND gate so we'll link so ba basically both that are on blue we will link to an AND gate this one is 5 by the way I've got them numbered so I've got I've I've actually already made one, three, five, seven, and thirteen, so prime numbers. Um, so yeah, so we've got two AND gates here. Uh, we're going to connect the ones that are lit up for five to this one, and then for the ones that aren't lit up, you see we've got the lit up not gates. Uh, for the ones that are off, we're going to connect those to the AND gate at the back and then we're going to connect the back AND gate to the front AND gate and what that's going to do is this will only come on when those two are off and those two are on so it will only come on when it displays 5 and I can quickly show you building another one let's take um, let's take 14 Okay, now if you're not massively familiar with binary, it might be easier for you to sort of work out in advance which ones it's going to need and then light those up. So I've already got a 13 here, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to let that count to 13, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. 12, 13, 14. Right, so we've got 14. And let's just make sure we've got no blocks selected. And for 14, we're going to put an AND gate and an AND gate. We're going to put a light and we're going to put a display block that shows us our number. We don't have to put a display block, this is just so we can keep track of exactly what's being made here. So we're going to connect the AND gate into the light, the back AND gate into the front AND gate and now because we've set it on because we've set it on the right number we're going to connect all the flip-flops that are lit up to the front AND gate and all the knots that are lit up to the back and gate. Right, so uh, we've got 14 there and 13 there. So what should happen is that one should light up after this one. So if I start this going again, let me just 
back up so we can see it all. Remember, we've got 1, 3, 5, 7, 13, and 14. Um, oh, and it's... <laughs> I've not turned the light up off in the first place. If you've not turned the lights on or off correct uh, when you first made them, once it's gone through one cycle, they'll all turn on correctly anyway. So we're going to get 13, and then it should go off, and the next one will go on. So 13, 14. So brilliant. So we can now use this if we really want to. Um, we can connect this to really elaborate uh, different lighting displays. We could, so we can have them either solid when they're active, like I've got these ones, or we could, if we put a longer de delay in between, we could maybe have them blinking, uh, and we can do some really, really elaborate lighting patterns with this. The The thing that makes this so powerful um, is that I can just put one more column on here, and it will double the number of steps I can include. So at the minute, we've got 16 steps. If I put four more blocks in, that'll give me 32. We put four more blocks in, that'll give me 64. Four more blocks in, that'll give me 128. Uh, and then four more blocks in, so double the width, it, it'll be 256. So if I double the width of this, it's going to be 256 different steps. Which, if you wanted a different light for each step, could take you quite a while to <laughs> set up all the numbers. But at least it works. It's and it's simple enough. Now these, I've got them staggered just so that we can make it easier to show what I'm doing here. But you can sort of you can condense all this down. Uh, you don't need the lights, obviously. These are just to because this is just my, my sort of lab area where I leave things on demonstration. So you don't need the lighting. You don't need all the pulses here if you're just going to set up sequence numbers and once you've done all this you can set up some really cool things like uh, we can have lighting going on and off in sequence if you notice there's more than one lighting set in each cluster so they come on and go off in stages uh, we can also activate this which, which is now going to change the change the pattern. You notice all four sets now do the same pattern. Apart from the fact there's a little bit of lag. Uh, or we can do... To be honest you don't need one this elaborate to do these this lights. But you see how we've got creeping lights here. we could use it to make a door that retracts quickly at the start of its cycle and then slowly when it's when it's almost retracted all the way so there's quite a lot of things you can do with this if you've got uh, you might have um, really complicated uh, s systems set up to activate movement in a ship and maybe, you know you could build a transformer with having things operate in sequence but they may require delays in between to allow time for things to complete so you know go away have a play with this guys uh, have fun with it and see what you can make go enjoy Starmate guys see you later